Yeah, it was. Uh, it, it's 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 what you play for, man. It's the it, the best feeling that um, that I think you can experience um, as a as a college baseball team. I'm elated for our players to get to experience that. It's just different uh, when you're an at-large team and, and not an automatic qualifier and there's some angst and anxiety and, you know, I, I kind of just stood back there and watched our players hoping that, you know, you're just trying to soak it all in that because these are the moments that, I mean, it's why you come to Liberty, right? You, you come to Liberty to win and, and play in the NCAA tournament and to, to, to have them get rewarded for it. It's just an unbelievable feeling for me as a coach. Yeah, I hope I hope we have the opportunity to play them. Um, you know, I, I think for our, you know, for our ball club, there's a lot of the kids on this roster that beat Tennessee in Chapel Hill in 2019. Uh, they've also got some familiarity by playing Duke twice already this year. Um, we can drive; it's about four hours and 40 minutes. So when you start looking at the things that you desire in your regional, as far as familiarity and not a long plane trip and the travel's not too bad. Um, I, I think this is a, a great draw for us and one that, uh, if I had to choose, a uh, pretty good scenario. Hey, Coach, let me ask you about Duke. Obviously, a team that, that you guys saw this year. Did that help you, obviously, from a, a preparation standpoint? And it's been a time year, especially this week in the ACC tournament. Yeah, I, you know, that you, I'll start with the latter there. I mean, they're, they're about as hot a team as, as you can find in the country right now. Uh, so, you know, that's going to pose a challenge because with that comes some confidence and some moxie. And I had a chance to watch them play yesterday against NC State. And you can tell um, just the, the dynamic of that dugout there. Chris Pollard does an, a remarkable job, maybe the best in the country, of getting his teams to play their best baseball down the stretch here. And, you know, they, they, they got in, they barely got in, I think it was 2016 maybe or 17. Can't remember, uh, but they, they – I don't want to say they snuck in, but they were one of the last in, and the next thing you know, you know, they're playing in a super regional. I mean, there's some things that he does with his guys to, to really uh, have them stay with it and do some things that, that get them to where they are at this point in the year. It's not going to be easy. I love the fact that we've already played them twice. I think it settles our guys in a little bit. Um, so there's some things I like, and there's some things that concern me. Yeah, the, the trip to TCU was great for us, despite, um, because we got our tails kicked, but we were in a hostile environment uh, against a really good team. And the awareness of our players now, um, looking back on that and saying, man, we, we, had, to, we had to grow from this. Uh, not only did we get our tails kicked, but it put us in a two and five situation. I can remember flying home from Fort Worth and thinking to myself, what have I done? Um, I've gone to, we, I've, I've, I've taken our team to Campbell and we can't win two out of three there. We go to TCU and it's not good. And now we're getting ready to get on an airplane uh, in, in less than a week and fly to the team that just beat Ole Miss two out of three on the road. And they were ranked number one in the country. And I'm sitting here thinking, we're going to dig ourselves a hole that I don't know, I don't know that we're going to be able to get out of when it comes to postseason play. And doggone if we, I don't know what our record is since then, but it's ridiculous. And the schedule helps you. We've had some luck there too, Travis. VCU was a late addition. Um, they were open during COVID. We were open. Sean was willing to play. Uh, and then we lost our series with Kennesaw um, to COVID. We had nobody to play. I, I'm talking to Ian McCall in the parking lot of the Fairfield Inn in Durham, North Carolina, and trying to figure out what to do. And the first phone call I made was VCU, and, and they were available. So there's certainly some luck there. Uh, I think we've created a lot of our own breaks by beating some of these ACC teams. And um, just all those things that stack up, I, I can't imagine it doesn't help us and, and, and we're not ready for the moment that we're getting ready to face come Friday. Yeah. Does it take on a little bit of a different feel now with these weekend guys getting out there on the mound? 
Yeah, it, it does. I mean, I, you know, Stinson just threw yesterday. I don't know that we'll see him. Um, I think it might be Carey just looking at their stat sheet going into, um, into the game yesterday. So, yeah, I mean, when you have weekend starters out there, it shortens the bullpen. It's not like a midweek game where, you know, you, you think maybe the midweek starter um, is limited, if you will, to be available for the weekend. So, yeah, from a pitching standpoint, it's a, it's a, it's a lot different look for sure. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, you know, Wright State, uh, you know, Coach Sogard has done a phen phenomenal job up there. We actually had some exchange with them during the year about uh, possibilities with COVID. So, um, you know, you try to play good teams um, and, and just looking at the field and, and how this one shook out. Um, yeah, Tennessee's, that, that regional's tough. Uh, that regional's really tough. And I think, you know, that's how it's supposed to be this time of year. They're never going to be easy. But at the same time, you do start to kind of break it down a little bit. And that's, uh, you know, I don't know RPI-wise what the average RPI is. Sometimes they do that in those regionals. And I think you're right. I think it might be number one. No, it does. It really helps. And, and you know, I'll, I'll never forget going to TCU on Friday night, um, and we lost four to one. Uh, and then on Saturday morning, talking to Coach Schlossnagel and him saying, "Wow, that that kid can beat anybody in the country." Um, we knew that. Obviously, they saw it, and you know, just what he's able to do in those moments. I could tell you this much: I'm going to be a lot more nervous than Trevor Delate will be on game one because that kid's just got the it factor and he settles in and does some things um, that I've never really, you know, had the, the, uh, our Friday night starter do. So um, the, the other good news for us too, Damian, is, is we've had three straight good days of throwing with Trey Gibson um, and going to get him on the bump on Wednesday and hoping that he's available, um, very optimistic that he's going to be available for the regional. Unbelievable. I, I mean, that has to be that has to be from an RPI standpoint. It has to be the toughest regional. Yeah. 